Good to see you, Hunter. The Make-A-Wish series takes us to the south of Whiteheart Island today. And this will be the weapon to be used, the 762 Classic Rifle with a Classic Scope that has a 3.5 times magnification. I have signed up for tournaments for all the animals down here, Roosevelt Elk, Whitetail Deer and Coyote. The Bobcat will not be on the menu today. I can barely start here from the lodge and I have a call already from a uh, Whitetail Deer. In front of the tower, this means I will not be able to reach the tower unless I would wait and just uh, let it disappear. What I'm going to do is I'm, I will call it in. I can approach it. Not very dense woods here, but still enough trees. So I can stay behind trees and approach this first buck coming up here. There it is, sneaking in. Very small buck. Score below 100. Somewhere around the 50s. That'll be good enough to get our weapon warmed up here. I don't even need to lay flat. If this was a trophy buck, I would be on the ground already. Now we're going to shoot a loud weapon. This means everything will run, everything that's around. So it'll take a bit longer to find the next after every shot. Shot while still crouching, while still moving forward. Such a small buck you wouldn't mind missing. But no, of course, we want to hunt some animals, we want to shoot some. I shot it too high. Well, based on the decal, it seems the buck was just lowering the head. It was still a double long shot. 56 is our score to start. And it seems we have some elk around as well. I must have surely spooked these guys. No, this is a white tail but i've picked up tracks from two bulls this one's a good size ideally it would go up to 500 kilograms very small one here at least four bulls they will all have ran in the same direction pretty much so i will continue Maybe I will run into one. But I'm still looking. Maybe there's number five. Maybe there's a big one in there as well. Okay, so I will keep going west here. I'm pretty sure I, I will uh, spot them sooner or later. One of the elk is ahead here. Actually, two of them. Ooh, one looks pretty. It's a large rack. Not a big score, though. He's missing the crown tines, so he will be barely 300. I will not be able to shoot two of them unless I have a large field and a long view and plenty of time to reload and shoot at the second one running. So I will have to pick the larger one. Come on back here, guys. This uh, rifle is really strong. I will not have to have him come all the way up to me. As soon as I have a good sight, I can go for it.
There's the first one coming in. I've relocated over here. I'll take this one out with the bow. So the second should come in. Ready for the rifle. So since this pool is not coming, I'm thinking he went back to bedding down. He is asleep over the hill there. Let's pick this one up and then go look. I spooked them while they were sleeping. I had sleeping and then running tracks. Maybe he just went back to take a nap. This one was easy from 15 meters. He's calling up ahead and now we have a doe here. Looks like on the way to this bull I have to take out another animal with the bow silently. She stands there paralyzed. She might have spooked as well. Not moving. So the bull is straight ahead. If I take her out, I have to drop her right there. Ah, this worked out. Let's start communicating with the bull. Hopefully he's gonna call, tell me where he is. You can see the circles. There he is. Thank you. I will just wait for you here. Been sneaking over on top of this tree root. So I have a nice elevation. And the supposedly large elk turns into a tiny goat. Feral goat shot in Whiteheart Island. Oh wow. There you go. One day you would have been big. Yay! Second in the tournament. How many people are playing? And here is our white tail. Silently taken out. I've reached my tower here in the middle of this island. I've put this here in the open. Shot lots of animals from it. A white tail is coming in already. Let's try a bit of a longer shot. Reticle seems hard to use, but it's still pretty reliable. Another small buck. Straight from the front. Ooh, through the whole spine. 56. Somehow that looks familiar. Coyote calling. I'm up here on this hill and down by the road. They're calling. I'm thinking I could utilize the permanent tower that's over here. So I will call them up into the open. It's a male. So there's always the hope for a big one. The competition that's ongoing uh, is looking for the three heaviest ones. So only one will not do anything. But that's not the main point here. The most important is that we can shoot a few coyotes alongside the other animals. I will call it up here or them. Hopefully it's a group. Here he comes trotting in. Not a huge one. And that's a nice challenge here with the radical. But we got him. 
they resized the coyotes and what was the other animal? Oh, the wolves. They downsized the actual size of the coyotes and wolves at some point earlier this year, earlier last year actually. And now they really have a believable size. Here is our first coyote. 23 kilograms. Like, like said, a mid-sized male. And I will need a couple more good ones. White-tailed deer buck, not a big one, but a good distance deer. 160 meters. I'm tempted to go for a shot here. A good challenge with this reticle for sure. I think I hit it. Let's go look. Do we have a blood spot? Oh, we have one right here. Body shot. But look at this. 41%. 27%. And there's the dead buck. Not a good shot, but this rifle is really strong, really good. I want to see where I hit it. Let's see if we can find the decal. Medium score, 127. Just lifting it up here. We've got no sun, unfortunately. Could have been too far of a shot. Not seeing anything, but anyway. The shot was from 150 meters. That's pretty cool for a classic rifle. This must be among the best ones for shots like this. This part of the world of the hunter is dominated by white tails. There's many of them. No wonder we get another one. I wish I could climb this rock. So I will use the tree root there. All right, what's coming there? Medium size, and from this close, I can certainly use the iron sights. That bullet must have passed through the deer from this close. Double long shot. And the normal size deer. The next white tail is standing in line. And this will be my last white tail. I don't want to turn this into another white tail hunt. But I want to use the iron sights. And I hit this as well. Dead deer up ahead. From maybe 60, 70 meters. More white tails in the area. <laughs> Let's see the distance. So yeah, 60, 70 meters is about correct. 65 meters. How am I supposed to not shoot wild tails? They are everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> the, the first decent looking rack with a long distance shot of eight meters. Now this bobcat is gonna require a different weapon Loaded with the jackrabbit collar. And there it is. A little bobcat in between. Although it's a pretty big one, 8.8. .8. Look at this white tail. And I really wanted to stop doing that, at least for this video. All right, just quickly, let's look. 176, all right, all right, I'm sorry. Uh, we have Roosevelt Elk. <coughs> Bull calling, I will call back. Let's see if the same one responds. 
if it doesn't respond or if it's the same one responding it might be just one sometimes you get another one responding that of course, of course immediately tells you there's multiples This is in the early morning, by the way, 7 o'clock, starting from the South Cliff Lodge. It's a bit of a challenge. It's dark, and we have the dark reticle. Although this is pitch black, we should be able to get a good shot at the bulls here that are rather bright compared to some other creatures around. Let's keep talking to them. <coughs> Only one guy talking. And I was wrong. It's not a uh, Roosevelt elk. It's another feral goat. <laughs> oh dear. I don't even need to be careful. What a crappy bull. Over here. And there's another goat running. <laughs> so it was two of them at least. And we've got this one down. Wow, that's even smaller than the other goat. 46. What a score. So I spooked a few of the other guys here. It was not alone. It had some other lightweight bolts on its side. You can see that tower on the Hunter Maid map. This is what I'm going to head for. I will use some scent spray and call and see what's coming back. By the time I reach the tower, I'm sure the bolts will have calmed down and one or the other will come in. Tower plus scent spray plus collar <coughs> equals a Roosevelt elk trap. Let's see what's coming. And here comes yet another goat. And I'm thinking, what's the point of shooting that here from this close? So I took off the scope. And I will try the brain shot. Just to add a little bit spice to the whole thing. A little bit of a challenge. This must be the goat father. And I did hit the brain. 21 meters with the iron sights. Finally a good elk. Over 300. Let's see if we can get them both. Oh wow. <laughs> A lot of wild shooting. I think I hit it multiple times. Let's go see here. Nice rack on this one. 335. Still not many people in this competition. So which one was it? So we hit it here already. And then it ran through the shrubs making it hard to see but we here we have a longer field I was able to shoot at it a couple of times and here is the other bull I hit it twice a small coyote female has also arrived this will be our last kill here 
with the iron sights. Also trying the brain. Let's see how this went. Yay, that was a brain shot as well. 18 meters. This was our last kill here in the south of Whiteheart Island using the 762 classic rifle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.